Welcome back, fifth grade. We are working on math with Mrs. Cox. We are in chapter 12, lesson five. We are on page number 933. We are talking about classifying quadrilaterals today. And remember, from the guided practice, there are three attributes we need to pay attention to. One is how many congruent sides, two, parallel sides, and three, right angles. Those are the attributes that are gonna help us out with our stuff today. All right, please understand that a quadrilateral has all sides congruent and opposite sides parallel. Four right angles, so the quadrilateral is the square right here. And from our little paper that we should keep with us at all times within our math book, we realize that a square is a very important polygon. It fits into all of the clubs. It's just, it is just the neatest thing ever. All right, let's move on to the lesson. We are classifying quadrilaterals. We have to, using this, describe the attributes. Remember, here's the attributes right here for each quadrilateral. Then we classify it. <clears throat> so if I'm looking at this, these two lines are opposite, but they are going to interconnect here, so they are not parallel. But this line and this line, they are parallel. So I only have one pair of parallel sides. Now, I don't really have um, right angles through all this. That's an acute, and these are obtuse. So let's classify this, this right here. So if we have something, remember quadrilaterals, four sides, four angles, four corners. Trapezoid is the one that only has one pair of parallel sides. So here we go. One pair of opposite sides are congruent, which means these are the same. One pair of opposite sides are parallel, so it must be a trapezoid. So these ones are congruent, excuse me, and these ones are parallel, which means these are the same length and these are parallel. So that means this crazy little shape is a trapezoid. Push pause if you need to to um, get all that information. All right, let's work on this one right here. We're going to classify this one. We can see that this line and this line are parallel. Yay! This line and this line are parallel. So there are two sides that are parallel. And remember, if you can draw an L, you can put a right angle in it. And there are how many right angles there, folks? That's right. So we're going to label this one. Opposite sides are congruent, which means they're the same length, same length, and they're parallel. Yay! And there's four right angles. So this cute little guy is a rectangle. Remember, a rectangle must have four right angles to fit in this club. And we've got it. All right, let's move to number three. We are circling the quadrilaterals that have all of the attributes of a triangle. Now, we just talked about the triangle. So we have a trapezoid, parallelogram, square, and a rhombus. Trapezoid, parallelogram, square and a rhombus. What ones have all the attributes? Well, trapezoid's not gonna be in there because he only has one pair of parallel sides. Rectangle, we decided, has two. Rhombus, ooh, rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides, but does rhombus have any right angles, folks? Nope, okay, so trapezoid is out, rhombus is out. So we have parallelogram and a square. Let's look at a parallelogram. Parallelogram does have two pairs of right sides, or excuse me, of parallel sides, but there isn't any right angles. So a parallelogram is gonna be out. The only thing we have left is a square, and this is why it works, is that a rectangle has right angles. And if you look, our square also has the right angles. They're the only two that share that commonality right through there. So they, square and a rectangle, share the attributes. All right, turn to 934, please. All right, we need to name the quadrilaterals and given the attributes. So, we need to decide which ones have opposite sides that are parallel. And if we're looking at our fun little paper here, we can see that rhombus has opposite sides that are parallel, square has opposite sides that are parallel, and a rectangle has opposite sides that are parallel, and a parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel. So. Go ahead and take a minute and make sure you get all that down. Parallelogram, rectangle, square, and a rhombus. Number four, five. 
We need to decide which ones have right angles. We discussed this with the last question, but I'll show you the picture just in case. Out of these shapes, the square has the right angles and the rectangle has the right angles. They're the only ones. So you're going to write rectangle and square. Number six, exactly one pair of opposite sides parallel. That our fun little trapezoid. Remember, he's clear out here in outer darkness. He only has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Trapezoid. All right, we're moving down to number seven. Brain builder, this one's fun. Is it possible to draw a quadrilateral with four congruent sides that is not a parallelogram? Explain. So they want us to draw a quadrilateral of four congruent sides, which means the same size, and have it not be a parallelogram. Is that possible, folks? No. A quadrilateral will be a square or a rhombus, which are both parallelograms. Because remember, it has to have congruent sides. So for it to have congruent sides, it'll be a square or a rhombus, and that is in the parallelogram form. So that is not possible, number seven. Push pause if you need to. Number eight, write a real world problem that involves classifying a quadrilateral, then solve the problem and explain the solution. Yeah, they made it sound like it was really tricky, but after you see the answer, you'll be like, oh, that was easy peasy. All right, what type of quadrilateral, make sure you use that fancy word in there, okay, can be used to describe the shape of a computer screen? Or you could also say the shape of my switch screen and have it say a parallelogram or a rectangle. You can go ahead and put whatever shape you want. I decided to do a computer screen. The parallelogram is my answer with four right angles. So parallelogram, my computer screen is gonna fit into this club. It'll be in the rectangle. All right, let's work on vocabulary, shall we? A rectangle is a parallelogram with how many rect right angles? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four. Four right angles. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly how many pairs of parallel sides? Oh, remember it's out here in outer darkness because it only has one pair of parallel sides. Number 11, which statement about the figure shown below is true? Okay, we've got to figure out. Okay, let's go through and divide and analyze each one. Figures K and N are rectangles. No, that one is a rhombus. It does not have any right angles. So that is totally not correct. All right, figures L and N are quadrilaterals. Well, quadrilateral has to have four sides, four angles, and four vertices. That has four angles, four sides, and vertices, but that one doesn't. So that statement is not correct. Okay, let's try this one. Figures K and N are parallelograms. To be a parallelogram, they have to have two pairs of parallel sides. One, two. One, two. Hey, that's correct. I would agree with that. That one is correct. But just to make sure, I'm going to also double check this one. Figures M and N are parallel parallelograms. No, that one is going to be a trapezoid. And trapezoid is in outer darkness. It's not in the parallelogram club. So that one is totally not correct. Okay, there we go, folks. We have finished with this lesson five. Please make sure that you go back to your agenda for today and find out what else is available. Um, Thank you for your time.